Okay, there's something seriously wrong. I am almost done with my coffee, and I still need some caffeine. Now this is much better. Now we can begin. <laughs> You know, it's really interesting. I was waiting to do this tea talk and I wanted things just perfect. I wanted my mess behind me cleaned up. I wanted to showcase the house a little bit after uh, having all the renovations complete. And I kept waiting and procrastinating, procrastinating. Plus, uh, my moods have been kind of up and down lately due to the anxiety I experience at times. And, you know, I figured, why not just do the video? If you keep waiting for the perfect opportunity, it's never going to happen. So, excuse the mess behind me. Excuse my hot mess of a look. But I did want to come back and let you know I am officially ready to create more content for all of you and i'm super excited i finally got my creative flow coming back as i'm sitting here having my lovely chai tea actually the cinnamon chai tea with cinnamon cbd honey it is the bomb that's basically my fall beverage lately i don't even know where to begin there's so much going on and then there's a stillness right now where things are actually finally calming down I definitely had to spend a week dealing with the flooring renovations, as you've seen from my semi-mini series. Um, there will be a final video to that series coming out uh, in the next few days, and it will actually show you the finished product. You'll be able to see the certain rooms that have the beautiful flooring. I am super, super happy with it. It looks fantastic. And seeing the drastic change that this place went through really really brightened my mood it really um, helped me actually visualize how I want my home office to look like and all those good things so I'm super excited to continue the um, the changes and all that but I actually am going to take a pause for a little bit uh, learn how to upkeep it with cleaning and uh, just do the little things that need to be tended to so on the home front, that's pretty good. I also got my shower hole, as you saw with the piping problem we had. The drywall people came in. Um, that was quite an experience. Maybe I'll do a short little video about that because that's kind of a comical thing in itself. But it did get repaired, so I just need my friend who paints those kind of things to paint over it, and then that'll be complete. But it already looks 10 times better than it did so <laughs> so all that craziness is finally done I know Timmy is happy because he was out of his gourd for the past week and a half he would either hide behind my washing machine or hide behind my couch it, it was just yeah not good as you notice I'm still home and I was supposed to be on a trip and out of state and that didn't happen <laughs> um, unfortunately the person I was going to visit he and I came to a mutual uh, agreement to postpone the trip indefinitely and we're just kind of like you know what why don't we just put this on the back burner for now even though we do really want to see each other but it's just it's just not the right time so yeah so that's the update with that and I admit I kind of went through a very very dark night of the soul episode i i as you all know from my empowerment over anxiety series i experience anxiety and a lot of the time is situational anxiety and there are different types of anxiety as the series explains i'll put the link um above here to the playlist so that if any of you actually experience anxiety you will be able to see that and i really went through a dark time like i just lost my interest in a lot of things. I lost my interest in even creating content. That's why I didn't come back to the channel sooner. And um, I just really just felt low. Um, it was almost like a depressive anxiety. And I really didn't know how to get out of that funk. And there were a couple of triggers that happened to kind of uh, ignite that. But it also was just a seasonal thing, I think. It was a whole combination of factors. 
But what I came to the understanding of is sometimes we do have to take a step back to preserve our energy. And um, several friends of mine who are also content creators have been doing content regarding this. And it seems like a lot of us are really coming to that realization that when we keep our own energy tanks full, we can be present for ourselves and for others. We can also help others a lot more efficiently um, with a lot of more care and it really, really is a win-win. Energy is so important. And when you don't protect your own energy and you give it freely without helping you replenish your own, you can get burned out real quick. And I think everything with all the chaos, um, and that's a disappointment of the trip. I was disappointed it was canceled. Um, and just all my other stuff that I deal with offline, it just really came to a head. And I realized if I came back to the channel too soon, I would not be creating uh, content uh, of value. Um, it wouldn't be in the right energy. And I just, you really can't force it. You can't keep resisting against something. And sometimes that resistance is forcing something to go forward when you're not in that alignment. So basically, what I did, it was took a time out. I cried a lot. <laughs> I did a lot of inner work. I drank multiple cups of tea with CBD. Um, I admit CBD really helps with my anxiety and my own personal experience. Um, also, I slept a lot. Um, it, was, it wasn't always, I, I slept a lot, but it wasn't always the best quality sleep, but I still rested at least. And I binge watch the Chicago shows of Chicago PD. And I know that may not be the most high vibrational show, but heck, man, I've been addicted to that show. So I'm like on season five. I'm still kind of binging it at night after I'm done with everything. So it's my guilty pleasure. So, you know, and sometimes you got to do things that will help. So the long story short, I really went through a, a rough time. And I'm not one to talk about it all the time unless there's a video in that topic. So I really um, might have surprised some people by pulling back. But sometimes, even though it may seem selfish, sometimes you have to pull back and take care of yourself and not feel guilty. Don't feel like you have to justify it. Um, I, I was very grateful. I had a huge support from so many of my friends on Instagram and my social media and uh, uh, my community and I'm very grateful for that. So now we're back to the present time. Um, we are going to be seeing some videos. We're going to be seeing some review videos. I actually put in a huge order for Just CBD. They are my go-to for my CBD needs and uh, it's not a paid promotion. I really believe in their mission uh, to help others and also I've uh, interacted with their staff a little bit and they're all so amazing they are really good people and uh, yeah so I got some things I also won something in one of their social media contests I will be uh, showing that so be on the lookout for that uh, video so you'll be able to see all those things and even if you're not into CBD that's okay you got to do what's best for you definitely see what will help you find tranquility find calmness in your life and uh, some for some like myself meditation helps um, I've been doing a lot of uh, ASMR at night uh, there's there's a lady I watch on YouTube. I forget her name. I'll post it below in case you guys are interested. But um, she does the uh, Reiki healing and meditation and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, and I'll listen to that at night as I fall asleep. And I also have been slowly going back to my gaming videos as well, um, which is featured on my secondary channel, Pixie Power Gaming. And I'm doing a lot of things, and a lot of the time I tell myself not to spread myself too thin. So I'm basically working on what is bringing me joy at the moment. And I know that sounds funny. It might be a little unorthodox when it comes to content creation because you have to be, uh, you have to learn how to multitask, and you have to learn how to 
um, just be there every single day, show up and uh, do everything all at once. And for me, that doesn't really work. As you can tell, my channel is kind of everywhere. Uh, my main thing is esoteric and spirituality topics, but I also like to do reviews. I also like to game. I also like to uh, have humor and show Timmy my cat sometimes. And, you know, and it really can't fit in one box. And there are a lot of spiritual content creators. They seem to have found their focus as far as one thing. And that's great. That's what works for them. They're crushing it and they're doing great. For me, I'm kind of like, you know what? I just want to do what brings me joy. And what hopefully will give you guys value and joy as well. So that's why I kind of seem all over the place. Um, one of my friends called me like a hummingbird because <laughs> I'm everywhere sometimes. And I used to feel bad about that because I thought, well, people are not going to know what to expect on my channel. And, you know, after a while, in order to be authentic and really express what brings you joy and what maybe wisdom that you have, you have to not feel like you have to apologize for not fitting in the box that everyone expects you to be in. And I'm really, really, I've really, really learned that the past few weeks that I'm never going to fit in a box. They definitely broke the mold when it came to creating me. And I really think I'm here to enjoy all aspects of life. And so are you. Even if your career is focused on one thing, that's okay. But go out and expand on your experience. Enjoy other things. Enjoy that one thing you always wanted to try and you never did. Um, you may not like it. You may say, oh, God, I'll never do that again. But at least you never walk away wondering what if. When I was going through my dark period there, I really had to sit with it and really acknowledge it because a lot of the time I felt like I acknowledged it and then I just jumped right back in because I felt like I had to. I felt like, okay, well, my my I'll disappear off the face of the earth to everybody if I don't jump back in. Um, I can ignore this. It's not a big deal. I can get back into it. And then I'd be temporarily inspired and then it would just fizzle out again. Just all the craziness the past month just came tumbling down. And I really learned that I have to take care of myself. And so do you. You have to take care of yourself because... Even if you just take an hour a day to read, meditate, have a cup of tea, uh, enjoy a podcast or a show, um, or just spend some quality time in solitude. But if you only do that for an hour a day, it'll be amazing how much it'll shift your life. It'll help you through the times that are challenging and that will really... Um, try your patience or try your emotions and granted we're all human we're still going to react sometimes but we'll be able to rebound quicker and in a more healthier way so i hope you guys make it for my premiere on oracle card reading on sunday um, i'll be in the live chat talking with all of you so definitely be on the lookout for that and uh, my podcast will be having a new episode uh, posting tomorrow the continuation of the Empowerment Over Anxiety series. Also, I am on several platforms now. I have to remember which ones. Uh, as my original podcast is, my original platform was Anchor FM, which is part of Spotify. But you can find me directly on Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts. So I'm on all those platforms now. And I may expand on that series just on the podcast itself. I'm not 100% sure which way I want to go about it, so I'm still in the brainstorming process. But let me know below if you would like some more podcast episodes about anxiety or maybe any questions you might have about anxiety that you'd like me to address. Now, while I'm not a licensed professional or doctor or anything like that, I can still share my perspective as one who does go through anxiety and uh, really hope uh, to help you guys not feel so alone and know that we're all dealing 
with it the best way we can. So be on the lookout for that. All the links are below, so it'll make it easy for you to subscribe. Um, if you want to give a, a positive review once you listen to some of the episodes, feel free. That really helps my podcast be shown. And uh, yeah, so that'll be my main focus for a while. But I'll still be having videos for all of you who love to watch videos. And yeah, we're going to see how this journey goes. Always remember that you have value, you are enough, and always, always remember, as we empower ourselves, we empower others. Namaste.